we are meeting here today with Ms. Hoosier's fifth grade class with our uh, Virginia Tech group of making an asymmetrical virtual reality versus PC game uh, here with Zach Guidos and I will let Zach take it away. Hi guys, I'm Zach. I'm a second year student studying computer science. So we're working on making an asymmetrical virtual reality versus PC game. So you guys might be wondering, what is virtual reality? I'm guessing that a lot of you guys have probably tried the kind where you guys put your phones in, um, in a plastic holder or a cardboard holder, uh, like Google Cardboard. Um, the kind of virtual reality that we're talking about is the kind that you plug into a computer and you can actually have these controllers that allow you to um, walk around and touch VR games. All right, so what do we mean when we talk about an asymmetrical multiplayer game? That's the second term. Usually we use the word asymmetry to mean like shapes or objects that are different on either side whenever you draw a line through it. Um, and this has a very different meaning for games. It means that different players have different goals and roles and objectives to complete in the game. And the largest aspect of asymmetry in our game is that one player is playing in virtual reality, or VR as I'm going to refer to it, and other players are playing on a regular computer screen. What is our game? Well, we first started out with the idea that we wanted people who own VR headsets to be able to play with people who are playing on a regular computer or PC players. There aren't a lot of people who own VR. Um, so we wanted to give them the opportunity to play with um, regular players on the computer um, because a lot of people have computers. The very basic plot of our game is that the PC players, there's four of them, are exploring some ancient ruins. And the VR player is trying to stop them from getting its treasure. They're kind of like the, um, the guardian of the ruins or the monster. Here's a picture of one of our arenas. There's a couple of them. Um, this one's a cool kind of like upside down mushroom world. The goal of the PC players is that each player is assigned a color, red, green, or blue. And there's also a special player who has a different role. And the players with the colors need to press colored buttons that are spread out around the arena in order to like open a door or get to some um, relic or treasure. And the VR goal, they need to stop the PC players from getting to the treasure or getting through the door and they have this special power where they can shoot a laser beam out of their head. And whenever the PC players walk into the laser beam, they get teleported to a jail. Up on the top right image, um, you see the blue player. Um, they're shooting a laser beam out of their head. And then on the bottom image, we have a very basic, um, it's just the lime green like jail. The VR player can also tag players with their hands. So it's kind of like a game of tag um, or capture the flag. Here's a video of our current gameplay. So this is from the perspective of a PC player. Um, and then now it's from the perspective of the VR player. And they're going to shoot some laser beams out of their head to try to corner the VR player or the PC players and tag them. So he the VR or yeah, the VR player just tagged one of the PC players, and they tagged him again. Um, and you're going to see here, one of the PC players just got the relic and ended the match. It's pretty simple. We still have a lot to add to our game. Um, there's still like some new goals and new arenas and new art that we want to add. Um, so this game is a very long process. We've been working on it for a few months. I don't know how many months, at least four months so far. And we think we're gonna be working on it for a few more months. Here's the next one. We have three people working on the game, um, not including our professor. Um, so 
one other person's working on art and their job is to create concept art, 3D model the environment and create a background story, which is not usually the artist's job, but since we're small, such a small team, um, that's their job. And here's some pictures of the arenas that we've been working on. They're very simple and blocky right now. Um, once we design, like decide on a layout, um, it'll get more complex and nice looking. The next person we have is a game designer. And so they test the game to see what needs to be changed to make it more fun and fair. Um, because the PC players and the VR player, they need to have a roughly equal chance of winning unless one's like way more skilled than the other. And the last person is the programming person. Um, since I'm studying computer science, I'm the one doing the programming for the game. And so basically my job is to tell the computer how to make the game to work. On the right here, here's some of my code. Um, this is the code that makes the VR player move around. Um, the top half of this is for like making the VR player teleport around if they want to, or they can just move around regularly. Um, and I've probably got a couple thousand lines of code in this game so far. How did you know you wanted to do something like this? In high school, I joined the robotics team. And so we um, did some made robots and we um, played in competitions. And so I thought I wanted to be an engineer, like a mechanical engineer that would build robots. Um, so I came into college and I started out um, thinking that I wanted to be a mechanical engineer. And then I found out that mechanical engineers actually do a lot of like 3D modeling and simulations and stuff like that. So I thought, well, I've already learned a little bit of programming in high school. So what if I just wanted the code robots or code games? So I decided that I wanted to um, do computer science instead. Are there levels? Are there different areas? Um, is it a cooperative game? It's a purely multiplayer game. Um, so there's four computer players versus one player in virtual reality. So they're all real people. And um, they're all kind of, all the computer players are working towards the same goal um, to get the treasure, or the relic. Um, and the virtual reality player is playing against them. And there's a, so far we have like five different arenas. So you play in the first arena for about five minutes and, um, or whenever someone wins, and then you get sent to the next arena and then you get sent to the third arena and whoever wins, um, at least, well, whoever wins two games, um, wins in that case. Would you say that, um, designing the game is fun? Is it a lot of work? Is it both? It is definitely both. <laughs> um, I spent a lot of time, I spent a lot of time this week, well, every week, um, work on this. It's like, it's kind of like another class in a way, but it's actually something that I want to work on. Um, so yeah, it's like, it's really fun making a game, but it's a hard process. How do you get out of jail? There are two jails, and right by the jail, there's a button near it. A special, it looks like a box, but basically when other PC players run through the button, they unlock the jail and let, let everybody out of the jail. If the VR player manages to teleport everybody to the jail, that's when they win the game. There's a question of when you might be putting this game out and um, what platforms could you play it on? This game is still a long ways from coming out. Um, at the very earliest, we think we might have it done by the end of this year, um, or this school year at least, but it'll probably be a little longer than that. Um, maybe it'll go into next year a little bit. How long have you been doing this, like developing games? Last year, I guess, was my first year, kind of. 
So I was working on another research project that involved VR. Um, I wasn't very experienced at coding then. And so um, after we got hit with coronavirus, um, I started to work on this project and really started to learn how to code games. So um, this is pretty much my first time making a game. What's the name of the game? We have no idea yet. Um, we think that we're going to, well, we have an idea to base it off of um, like the legend of Medusa, um, kind of that Greek mythology thing, because it's kind of like the VR player um, freezes the PC players whenever they look at them by sending them to jail. It's kind of a loose connection. Um, the original idea was kind of closer to that, but it's changed a lot. So we really don't have any idea what the name might be. Is it a console game? Not yet. Maybe, but it'll probably stay on the computer and on VR for the computer. Thank you, Zach, and thank you, Ms. Huger's class, for your time. Um, thanks for telling us about your project, and also thanks for all of your great questions.